Hello, and welcome to our science web series, brought to you by sciencehook.com. Today, we will understand the concept, behind Zeno's dichotomy paradox. The paradoxes of the philosopher Zeno, have puzzled mathematicians, scientists, and philosophers for millennia. Over 40 paradoxes are attributed to him, which appeared in a book he wrote, as a defense of the philosophies of his teacher, Parmenides. The most famous of Zeno's arguments is, Achilles and Tortoise Race Paradox. The paradox is something like this. In the race, Achilles gives the tortoise a head start, say 10 meters. Achilles runs at 10 meters per second, and the tortoise moves at only 2 meters per second. Now, by the time Achilles has reached the point where the tortoise started, and not, equals 10 meters, the tortoise will have moved on 2 meters, to M1, equals 12 meters. When Achilles reaches M1, the tortoise will have moved on 0.4 meters, to M2, equals 12.4 meters. When Achilles reaches M2, the tortoise will still be ahead by 0.08 meters, and so on. Each time Achilles reaches the point where the tortoise was, the reptile will always have moved a little way ahead. This seems very peculiar. We know, that Achilles should pass the tortoise after 1.25 seconds, when they have both run just over 12.5 meters. But, with Zeno's argument, it seems, that Achilles will never catch the tortoise. If you think of the distances Achilles has to travel, first 10 meters, to M0, then 2 meters, to M1, then 0.4 meters, to M2, and so on, we can write it as a sum of a geometric series, like this. Now, it is a little clearer. As the distance that Achilles travels to catch the tortoise, is the sum of a geometric series, where the multiplier is less than 1, we know that the distance is finite as the series converges. And, as he only has to travel a finite distance, Achilles will obviously cover that distance in a finite time, if he is traveling at a constant speed. So, how did Zeno manage to confuse us? By dividing the race track into an infinite number of pieces, with each step decreasing, Zeno's argument turned the race into an infinite number of steps, so that we can never reach the moment, where Achilles passes the tortoise. Zeno's argument is based on the assumption, that you can infinitely divide space and time, which is wrong. Interestingly, in another of his arguments, called the arrow, Zeno also shows that the assumption that the universe consists of finite, indivisible elements, is apparently incorrect. The seeming contradiction in the nature of reality, is somewhat cleared by the theory of relativity. For example, light is now thought of as having a dual nature, behaving sometimes as discrete particle or photon, and at other times like a continuous wave. In fact, even Zeno's belief in monism, in a static, unchanging reality, which was the basis for his producing the arguments in the first place, seems oddly similar to cosmologists' ideas about, world lines. A world line is the unique path that an object has, as it travels through both space and time. This theory suggests, that the entire history of each world line already exists as a completed entity, in the plenum of space-time. So, Zeno's paradoxes still challenge our understanding of space and time, and these ancient arguments have surprising resonance, with some of the most modern concepts in science. So, that's all about concept behind Zeno's dichotomy paradox. Please like, and subscribe our channel, and don't forget to share this video.